The Witcher series recently celebrated its 10 year anniversary. And I have to say, it's been an experience. That is basically what you could describe playing the games. They were more than just games. They were, for the most part, a, a an incredible experience. This part of this is a testament to just how good the world was created by the original author of the novels that the games are based on. Now, the novels were relatively unknown here in the West, and so was CD, Pro CD Projekt Red. At the time, now they were CD Projekt, they dropped the Red from their name. But they were relatively unknown here in the West, and here's this, this company, relatively unknown, an indie developer, creating this game that basically turns the RPG world on its head. It was nothing truly all that innovative to the game. Much of the UI of the original Witcher harkened back to an older era in, in video games, an older era in PC gaming. But the story it told was unlike anything anyone had ever seen. Uh, that stench. And CD Projekt used the game as a tapestry to paint this incredible world that was fanciful, filled with magic and monsters and dwarves and elves, and they created this world that was a horrific place to live in, that it was hard on the people, and sometimes, sometimes people had to do horrible things in order to get by. And then you had the Witchers. And I think it's because CD Projekt was willing to go there, willing to tell those kinds of stories. And they, they weren't afraid to, you know, tell stories of these horrific things happening to people. Why that wheels they weren't afraid to censor themselves to an extent that this is what resonated with people, that they were wanting these kinds of stories. They weren't wanting these benign worlds that said, oh, life is hard, but then you don't see it with the NPCs. Here you see it. In The Witcher, you see it. You see life as it was in Middle Ages. Slow now. Whoa. In games like the Elder Scrolls, in, in Skyrim, life doesn't seem that hard. But in The Witcher, you see how the people live and how hard they have to work day by day just to survive. And that's what it was like. And The Witcher provided that kind of realism. Even though it was this fanciful world, again, with magic and undead and in these um, chimeras these like the griffins running around killing people they created this world that was believable and I think that is the main reason why yeah, this game did so well no the world was believable well. the stories were well written the probably the probably best of the franchise. The best of the franchise is one of the first big major story arcs you ran into immediately after entering Velen. After your character Geralt Leftovers, cuts of meat. tries to find Let the Emperor's what spell requires that. Um, Emperor's spy mm -hmm. in the country. After far. you find out that he's it. dead, you have to encounter the Bloody Baron. You have to talk to him. And the whole arc with him is just absolutely brilliant piece of storytelling. And it is heart-wrenching storytelling. Probably the, the best moment is with the Botchel. There aren't many people who played through that the first time without tears in their eyes. If you go through the arc of turning the botchling into 
a lubricant. Way to if, you, if you follow that arc, can. if you decide to not That's kill, for you. if you decide to not kill the botchling, but you try to make it into a lubberkin. That's incredible storytelling there. And also the, the voice actors were very good. Especially for the Bloody Baron. The emotion in his voice while he's talking to Geralt about his family and, and everything that's happening. You, you hear the anguish, the sadness. You hear the regret in the Bloody Baron's voice. And you don't get that a lot in games. At a level of storytelling, a level of emotion that you, you that's something you only normally see in stuff like the Game of Thrones. And here it is in a video game. That is still intact. Don't well, I think magic, though. that's why this game was so popular. Why this series was so popular, because it was that good. People, some people say, oh, you're just wearing nostalgic glasses because this, these games were popular then. You'd say, oh, these games are so great. There are better games than that. No. These games ah, were gosh. good. These games Whoa. were very good. And they told stories in ways that we had never seen before. And I can't wait to see what CD Projekt has waiting for what they've got next. Thank you for watching.